Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. What we have it today. Bam! That's right. These are the Yeezy Boost 700 Inertias, Inheras, and, and L something, man. But I don't know. This is okay. This is a dope shoe. Like, seriously. I, you know what? I'm a fan of 700s. I know. I know. I'm a dad. You know, I'm a father myself. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. But no, but honestly, dead ass. This is actually a dope shoe. It's a dope colorway. It's a dope concept. Just everything about this thing, I, I really like it. Um, but for some people out there, is it worth how much you're going for right now? And is it worth retail? First of all, 700s, they retail for $300. That is steep. Woo, that's steep. But for me, as a Yeezy fan, and for this colorway, I think it's worth it. It really is. $300. Yes. We we uh, we spend more money on certain shoes. I've spent more money on certain way more money than on certain shoes. And I feel like to justify this type of shoe, it's you know, it's cool. It's all right. Uh first of all, the resale is not there's not too bad for you know size up or so. And these things here, I got this from uh, Adidas. Shout out to my dude, sold a cart and everything. But whew, these things this is dope, man. This is a dope shoe. It's a dope, nice colorway. Look, go looks good with this, but let me know what you think about these things. Woo. But let's just go ahead. Let's get into this review real quick, guys. Now, the thing I really like about the shoe is just a different type of hint colors all throughout the shoe. It just makes it really pop. Let's just start off with the toe box here. You got this little suede material, patch material up here. You have your mesh material up here. And yes, it has like this different type of like blue colors if you guys couldn't see it. I mean, you really couldn't tell from far away, but just these little pops of blue from here to the tongue and to the uh, little lace lock here. And I just think it looks great. Moving on, you got some more mesh material up here to the top. And you get that little gray suede material on the side here. And you have this big old midsole. Just check it out. This crazy looking midsole right here. And yes, this orange uh, little piece here, it is 3M as well. You have a couple little 3M pieces as well on the side. On these two pieces here is a 3M. And the holes here on the back of the heels is also 3M. Yes, just so many different things they have on here as well. You got some uh, tumble leather on the side here for the lace uh, eyelids here. And yes, you go up to the up to the tongue to your flat rope laces here. And you just have this regular, um, you know, mesh tongue up to the top. And also, the little eyelids here is also 3M, and this is also 3M. And then on the inner side, yes, of course, you do have also like the mesh material as well. Some tumble leather material. You also have the 3M on the back as well on the inner side. And if you guys can't see it, there is a 3M stripe on the side between the mesh material here. I'll take a little snap pictures. But yeah, it does have a little 3M, 3M, 3M here, 3M here, 3M there. Bam. And going back to hills, you have that little... Met, there's a little suede material on the back and yes you have your 3m holes back here just in case i guess maybe for running and then you also have this upper mesh material on the sock liner as well uh, on the insole you do have that yeezy on the insole here the gray in and also uh that adidas emblem here and it is 3m 
and I just noticed that the the insole is this OD light as well, just like on the 500s. I'm not sure if the 700s ever got it. Orthy, Orthy light, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's just a little material, just like how it is on the 500s as well. Not sure that any other 700s had this. I gotta go check, but I could be wrong. Maybe it is. And then inside the shoe, yes, you do have. You can also see through is the boost inside. Yes, it does have boost. It does. So in here, it has that boost material as well, and you can actually see the boost right here for comfortability inside. And check it out. I just saw the noses inside the shoe. It does have that Yeezy uh, emblem right here. And it is 3M as well. Why would they have 3M inside there? Oh, actually, no. Yeah, it is 3M. Right there. Bam. Easy. And then going to the bottoms, you can check a, take a look at this crazy outsole, man. Take a look at this thing. You got the little traction pod here. The little Adidas uh, logo on the back of the heels. And you can definitely see the little boost going through the mid or the outsole outside. You can see it popping through. So there you have it. These are the 700. Your in Harris, in Harris, in Harris, yeah, some of that. Anyways, these are it. These came out uh, sometimes last Saturday. That they pretty much sold out. I mean, they uh, sizes up or eight and up. They basically kind of sat all day, but eventually sold out. Size four to six. That's the money size for these things. Basically sold out instantly. So I do have a size six coming. Hopefully we'll see that. The misses really want these, so I'm not trying to show her these because she wants a pair of seven hundreds, and. I think these things are dope, man. This is probably the second best colorway of the 700s that have been releasing so far. I don't know. It's either this or the Statics. But the Statics is a V2. This is a 1. So I guess I kind of want to put in that category. But if you want to go over just 700s, V1 or V2, uh, this is pro still probably going to be my favorite one. Second, second favorite one. Of course, we all know the Wave is the GOAT right here. So these are probably by far the best one. And these things are just fire. But these things... It's a great summer shoe. This is a great summer shoe. Great summer shoe. Great spring shoe. Spring's supposed to be coming eventually, you know, even though it's still freezing outside. But it is a great shoe. The only thing about this shoe is that I kind of worry about is that um, it's going to be kind of really hard to match stuff with this. Because I don't really have anything that could really go with it. Because this is not really a gray gray. It's like a bluish grayish something. But it's... You know, it's it's gonna be difficult to kind of put together. Like, I mean, maybe this this here, or I don't know. Maybe I had to wear a gray jacket, which I don't have. So, you know, but I don't know. But on feet though, these things look great with jeans, joggers. I think these look fantastic. Um, and how these things fit, guys? I say that they fit probably. I will go true to size. First of all, 700 is a really bulky shoe. But the one thing about these here. I don't I feel like these are not as bulky as the waves it really isn't like it has a little bit more of a point and it's kind of a little bit more uh, narrow compared to the waves let me show you now these are the 700s they're both size 9 just compare like how wide more of the 700s or the waves are if you guys can see it just feel like it's a lot more bulkier this here is a lot more rounded like this this here is more narrow down if you guys can see and just I don't know I just and it's not as like like high up as well here it has a nice little curve to me and I don't know it, it looks that's how it looks like in person as well it just looks really wide with the waves and it just like I said man these things are just it it's a 700 it's gonna be a bulky shoe it's a big shoe and it's I guess it's like a boat no it's not that bad it really isn't that bad you know especially if you get a good decent size it's pretty decent as well. But these things look looks pretty killer on feet, guys. Like, these things look pretty fire. Uh, these are definitely some head turners. Because, first of all, people are going to be like, what the are those? But it's, it's, these are pretty crazy. Is it worth the price, though? Is it worth $300 retail? Is it worth the resale? You know, I think the resale, like I said, they're going for, like, $350, 360 for size 8 and so on and so forth. I think the, size, like the small size, size 6 or yeah four six and so so forth the smaller sizes they're going for like 450 400 or something like that and the price kind of dropped down so is it worth it mm, i think so if you're a fan of yeezys and stuff i think it's worth uh the retail i don't think i would pay resale for these things i don't know we'll, we shall see but i just want to say one thing if you are looking to resell these things i would say right now the price is going for is really really cheap i'm just saying right now just hold Hold. If you can afford to hold these things, these things will go up. These are probably the best second colorways behind the waves, of course. I believe they'll go up again. Give it a couple months. Give it, just, just wait and see. 
Uh, especially wait till the summertime. These things will go up. Especially the small sizes. These things will go up. So just hold on to them and all. But just hold on. And just to wear them, I would say wait till the summertime. Wait till the spring. I want to rock right now. It's still pretty cold outside. It's still snowing in some areas. Like, I think Minnesota, New York got like a foot of snow or something. Crazy. That's insane. Sorry for you guys. Look, it should be spring already. Like, I'm, I can feel the springness because I'm getting... You can, Sorry for my voice because I'm not feeling that great. I'm feeling pretty... Every time the weather changes, I get kind of sick. And these things, I don't think they were that limited. These things were only uh, only for at Adidas and Yeezy Supply only, as I remember. I don't think they went in a couple of sneaker boutiques as well. But they were actually somewhat pretty limited. Not as limited as the salts. The salts were super stupid limited. But these things, it was somewhat semi-limited. They didn't go to any uh, foot sites that I could think of. But so, and but I don't think they weren't that hard to get, guys. So if you wanted them, you could have gotten them. Right now, uh, if you didn't want it, couldn't get them for retail, they're not going that bad for, like, say, like, you know, on the apps and stuff like that. It's, the resale is not too high. So, if you want them, go ahead and grab them. Right now, this is probably going to be the best time before they go up. That's just my opinion. I feel like these things are going to go up in a couple months. So, I just have a question for y'all, man. For this month of March, a lot of Yeezys are coming out so far. We have another 700, the Gamos or something like that. It's like, it's kind of like the Mall V2. We have another 700, we got the clays, we got the true forms coming out, another, just a whole bunch of Yeezys coming out. So, is Yeezy making a comeback? Is Yeezy, Yeezy to me is not dead. It is not dead, it is far from dead, guys. Especially for something like this shoe to sell out and everything, guys. It's far from dead, guys. Yeezy's still here. It's not, of course, it's not as what it used to be. I mean, these things are not going for thousands of dollars and whatever like that, but it's still selling out it's still hyped to it and you know it's just it's far from dead guys just just enjoy it if you're able to get the pair rock it cop it and be good to go anyway guys that's the end of the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it guys uh if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up uh subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below let me know what y'all think about these inheras inheras inertias 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 uh let me know what you think about these things inheras inertias um and also uh please hit that bell for all the notifications for when i do drop vid guys i i jump in chris peace